Hey everybody, welcome to part two of my five part series on how to make an SFM poster. In this video, we're gonna be focusing on subscribing and downloading add-ons and porting things from Gmod. So the first thing we're gonna do is look at how we can download add-ons and what add-ons we'll be using for the example. And then after that, we'll be looking at how to port items over from Gmod. So if you're here for that, you can skip to the timestamp that's appearing on the screen right now. So first we are gonna to wanna to open up Steam and go to the SFM workshop. So what I do is I go over to library, I switch over to software, which is where SFM is, and then we're gonna click down here, browse the workshop. Here we are at the workshop. We know what we're gonna get, so we're just gonna go right over to the search bar. The first thing we're gonna be getting are the Inkling models. So we're gonna look up Inkling, just search there. So we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna find Enhanced Inkling Girl Model and Enhanced Inkling Boy Model. I'm already subscribed to those, but what you'll do is you'll go in and then you'll click on the subscribe button right here and it should say unsubscribe and you just click it to subscribe and it'll download it. So once we get both of those two downloaded, we're gonna go back up to the search bar. We're gonna search Splatoon 2 Gear. There's going to be three packs here, so you're going to want to subscribe. You can hit the plus button down here for pack one, two, and three. After that, we're going to look up Splatoon Weapons. And we're going to subscribe to the Splatoon Full Weapons pack right here. So again, just click on this plus button here, or click on the page and go to the subscribe button. So when you subscribe to an add-on, a window should appear in Source Filmmaker that says SFM Workshop Download Queue. It'll show everything you've downloaded, so you can just click OK to download the items. After a second, it'll download, and then a pop-up window will appear. And it'll tell you that all files have been downloaded from the Steam Workshop. So we're good on that, and now we can move on to porting things from Gary's Mod. Now getting items from the Gary's Mod Workshop is a little trickier, and you're going to have to pay a little more attention. So just follow along here, and you can run back the video if you get lost. So we're gonna go back to our library and switch back over to the games tab. Go down to Gary's mod and find what, same way we're gonna scroll down and click browse the workshop. So recently there used to be uh, a mod for the Splatoon 2 hairstyles on the SFM workshop, but they've recently gone away for some reason. So what I did is I went over to the Gary's mod workshop and found the models there and ported them over. So we're gonna go up to the search bar and we're gonna look up Splatoon hair. Now, as you can see, we're gonna get a bunch of dupes and saves that we don't really care about. So to filter that down, we're gonna to go to the type dropdown, scroll all the way down to add on. And now we can see the Splatoon 2 cosmetic pack is what we're going for. So we're gonna click on that, go down and hit subscribe. And as you can see, there are some things that you need to have downloaded. Now, we already have the enhanced inklings and these two tools, we're not gonna be using them in, in Gary's mod. So we don't really need these two things. All we need is to just hit continue It'll subscribe. And then once it's downloaded, we're gonna have to launch Gary's Mod to make sure that the add-on is installed properly. So I'll get back to you as soon as Gmod's open. So once we get to the title menu, that's really all we have to do to make sure that the add-on is installed so we can quit out of there. And now we're gonna start doing some work in File Explorer. So open up your File Explorer. We're gonna to go to this PC, local disk, program files 86, or it might be 32 uh, if you have a different type of computer. Now we're gonna scroll all the way down to where it says Steam, Steam apps, common, and now we're gonna find Gary's mod. So once we get into Gary's mod, we're gonna to go to the bin folder. We're gonna scroll down until we find a program called GMAD. So we're gonna select GMAD, go down to copy. Once we have that copied, we're gonna go back to the Gary's Mod folder. So it's gonna have Gary's Mod and then Gary's Mod again. We're gonna to go to add-ons and then we're gonna hit paste and paste GMAD into there. Now I already have it in there, so we're just gonna replace it. So now if you scroll down there, you'll see that it says GMAD. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna find the add-on that we wanna convert into a folder. As you can see, I have a lot of add-ons installed, so we're gonna to try to narrow it down. So we've got Splatoon 2 Cosmetic Pack, here it is. We're gonna click on that. We're gonna drag it all the way 
up until we get to G-Man. So now that we found GMAT, we're going to drop the file in. A uh, CMD window will open up, so just let it do its thing. So now we'll see that it's created a folder called Splatoon 2 Cosmetic Pack. So now that we've got our add-on folder, we're going to go into the folder, and you'll see that we have two folders called Materials and Models. These are what's important. So we're going to left-click and drag until we've selected both of them. Right-click, and then hit Copy. Now we're going to go back, all the way back out into the common. And instead of Gary's mod, we're going to go to Source Filmmaker, Game. Now as you can see here, I have a folder called Gary's Mod. This isn't here normally, you won't see it. I created that folder to put my add-ons in. So to do that, you right click, go to New, and then Folder. And then you'll name your folder Gary's Mod, or whatever you want really. So now we're going to go into our Gary's Mod folder, and we're going to paste the materials and models. Now I already have all of them, so you can just let yours buffer. I'm gonna X out of here because I already have them. So as you can see, now my materials and models are in there. So the next thing we're gonna do is open up Source Filmmaker. So once we're back into Source Filmmaker, to open up the project you've been working on, to go down to Recent Session, it should be right there. So you click Open Recent. So this should look pretty familiar. The last thing we're going to do in this video is actually a bit of a sneak peek into the next installment. We're going to check and make sure that the ports came over successfully. So to do that, we're going to go over to our animation set editor, click the plus drop down, and go down to create animation set for new model. This kind of window should come up. So we're going to wait a second down here. You can see it's counting up all of the models we have installed. I'll probably have a significant number more than you do, which is fine. So just let those go for a second. Now to make sure the ports worked right, we're gonna type in hairstyle and just scroll down until there they are. So say we wanna bring this one in, hit enter, and there it is. We can go into our work camera and move around and see the hairstyle. So we know that those went in successfully. So in the next installment, we're gonna be focusing on putting our first models into our poster, so our inglings, our hairstyles, our clothes, and our weapons, and how to pose our characters into the positions they want. So thank you for watching, and stay tuned for the next episode. See ya!